Oh, this person's having a problem with her fish tank. She's lost some fish. Okay, somebody asked her for the water parameters. All right, so she says she can't testimony because she uses test strips. All right, we kind of need... Wait a minute. John says test strips are inaccurate and you cannot believe them. Why? Why do you say that, John? I'm, I'm going to have to answer. John, why would you think that? Prove to me that test strips are not accurate. Exclamation point. Angry emoji. Angry emoji. Send. I'll show him. Hiya, fishy folks, and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today's video, test strips, accurate or not, and how to use them. Grab yourself a healthy snack and beverage, and stand by. Welcome back, fishy folks. Before I get started with the video, if you could do me a ginormous favor, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Gently, boop, the notification bell so you know if I go live or release a uh, new video. And check out my website, michaelsfishroom.com. All right, fishy folks, I've been hanging around a lot in a couple of uh, Facebook groups, specifically Cookies Fish Room. Uh, my buddy Norm uh, from Australia, the real deal, marine biologist, by the way. Um, created the group and it's a great group and I've been promoting it and there have been a lot more comments uh, coming into the group and a lot more of the basic stuff why are my fish dying when will my guppy give birth that kind of stuff which we all have to ask I'm not pooping on anyone for asking those questions I'm just saying more of the basic stuff um, I did a quick video for that fish uh, for that form specifically on what you need when you have a problem with your fish, you know, you need to know your water parameters, temperature, the water parameters should include ammonia, nitrite, nitrate, pH, temperature, GH, KH. You know, what's in the tank, that kind of stuff. But I see a lot of people say, I can't testimony because I use test strips. Now, um, most test strip kits are like a five or a six in one, and ammonia is separate. I believe the chemical in the ammonia pad can contaminate the rest of the test. That's why they keep them separate. I'm pretty sure that's right. If I'm wrong, somebody let me know. Um, the point is, people say test strips are inaccurate because that's what they've heard on the internet. I started using test strips three, three and a half years ago when I first started in the hobby because I was watching one of Corey from Aquarium Co-op's videos and he uses them in his store, in his private fish room, and he trusts his business to them. If he does that, if he trusts his business, I, I believe they're accurate enough for me. Now, let's talk about accuracy for a second. I've done comparisons, I've seen comparison videos. Maybe I'll do, I'll do my own comparison video in my style, but they always come out pretty accurate. Now, I've only ever tried the Tetra test strips. I've never tried API or any of the other brands. Um, I've heard more people say API are inaccurate, but I don't know, I've never tried it. Now, you guys know me from watching my 600 and whatever 50 videos or, or so, but when I talk about something, it's because I've used it and I either like it or don't. There, there's very little times, I don't think there's ever been a time where I've used something, not liked it and not told you. Same thing goes, if I've used something and liked it, I always tell you. And I used Tetra test strips. In fact, I did, a, I did this video, the same video, like three years ago. I'll, I'll put a link up here so you guys can laugh at how bad I was back then. I mean, I'm only slightly better now, but it's, it's really bad. You can also see the changes in the fish room. Uh, in that video, I have the water tub that was over here. There was a fish tank on my work bench, two fish tanks actually. Take a look, let me know what you think. Um, back to test strips. So people say they're inaccurate and I don't know why because I've used them, I've tested them, and they seem pretty accurate. So let's let's go over how to use Tetra test strips. Now the first test strip is simply ammonia. It's just one uh, pad on a test strip. And the second one uh, of Tetra test strips is a six in one. And it tests um, nitrite, nitrate, total hardness, which is GH, chlorine, uh, alkalinity, which is KH, as well as pH, and it does fresh and salt water. So this one six-in-one test does two more than the 
API master test kit. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not pooping on that test. I like that, I've used it for years as well. I'm just saying, I don't know that it's very much more accurate than this because quite frankly, how do we know which test is actually accurate? We don't. So, just saying, something to think about, something to put in your mind and, and use your brain thinking powers on. We don't know which one is more accurate, if any is more accurate than the other. So, um, so between the two test strips, ammonia and the sixth one, you get seven tests. Um, I'll have links to both of these test strips down in the description below. They will be affiliate links. I do make gajillions just if you think about it. You know what I'm saying. So click on and buy whatever you want on Amazon. Now, the instructions for the ammonia are quite simple. There's no measuring. There's no taking water out of a fish tank, putting it in a glass tube and shaking and drops. There's none of that. It's pretty easy and simple. Remove one test strip from the bottle and replace the cap tightly. Let's do that. These tests come in 25 and 50. They might even come in 10 um, tests per bottle. I always buy the 25s. I don't know why I don't buy the 50s. Probably because I don't normally test that much. I bought these really just for this video and to do comparisons with API. So when you're done, you want to tighten the cap very tight. Okay? Now, oh, we got to go with the instructions, right? So I, I pulled one out. I, I put the cap tightly. Now, I know some people, um, they say they're not accurate, and then when you ask them, oh, I've had a test for six months, cap's not tight. I think humidity uh, from your fish tank or fish room will uh, contaminate the pads and make them less accurate. So that's why I put it tight. All right, second step. Hold test strip at end and dip into aquarium water, swishing back and forth in the water for 10 seconds. Remove and shake excess water from the strip. Compare immediately to the color chart. Well, let's see what we got here, folks. We got the test strip. Let's put it in this fish tank. I got the uh, the pink flamingos right here. Count with me. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, 10 Mississippi. Shake the excess off and then we compare. And I don't know if, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you overhead, hopefully you guys can see this. Zero ammonia, which makes sense. I mean, it is an established aquarium. Done, ammonia done, 10 seconds. Maybe 12 if you're slow. <laughs> Get it, 10, anyway. Second set of test strips. It's a six in one, okay? Again, I'll go over what it does. Nitrite, nitrate. Hardness, GH, chlorine, alkalinity, or KH, and pH, freshwater, saltwater. 25 test strips. Now, these instructions are a little bit different, so I want to go over them. Pull a test strip out. That's the same. Cover lid tightly. Also the same. Now, Hold strip at end with no pads. Dip strip into aquarium water for one second. Difference. 10 seconds, one second. Do not shake excess water from strip. Shake excess water? Do not shake excess water. Hold strip level for 60 seconds. Compare test strip colors to scale at the bottle. Test immediately. Wait 60 seconds. Another reason why they have to be separately, because the tests work differently. So here we go, folks. Actually, let's get the timer ready first. I'm not even gonna ask Siri. Look, let me humor y'all. Hey Siri, set a stopwatch for 60 seconds. That's amazement. She didn't set it for 60 seconds, she just set a stopwatch, okay? Fine. I guess I should have said set a timer. Anyway, I'm surprised she listened because second time I filmed a video because the first one sucked so bad and she didn't work the first time. All right, test strip. Follow the instructions. What does it say? Hold strip it in with pads, dip strip in the aquarium for one second. Do not shake excess. Wait 60 seconds. So, do not shake excess. Wait 60 seconds. Here we go, folks. 
starting the 60 second timer. Boom, we'll put that there so you can see it. While we're waiting for this, there is a hack we can do, right, folks? Here's an old test strip. Now, I learned this from Cory at Aquarium Co-op as well. You can actually cut these in half. Now, I don't normally cut the ammonia ones in half because I feel like the pad comes off too easily and then you ruin one of the test strips. So, boom. Now, instead of 25 test strips, two for one, baby. See what I'm saying? Saving you money. Me and you, saving you money. 39 seconds. We got 21 seconds to go, folks. I see a lot where people poop on these in the forums and in on social media, and I'm 100% positive it's because they've never tested them. The few times where I've called people out, because you know I do that, and they say they've actually tested them, 60 seconds, we're done. They've always been a different brand, not Tetra. Now, I only have experience with Tetra, so that's what I'm going with. All right, folks, let's take a look at our test strip. So here's our test strip, and we have our chart here. So let's, let's see it. Here we go, folks, test strip. So we have somewhere between zero and 20 nitrates, which is fine. Zero nitrites, our hardness is 150, no chlorine. Shocker there, right? Our uh, KH is a little bit low, somewhere between zero and 40. I'm gonna give it a, maybe a 20. And our pH is about six, eight, six, nine. Done. Minute and a half for both tests, done. No shaking, no, no nothing, done. I don't know why people don't like them. It's pretty easy. Guys, if you need a quick test for your fish tanks, invest in these test strips. Even if they're not as accurate, which I don't believe. I'm gonna do a comparison, actually. I'll do a comparison video soon, and I'll compare the API Master Test Kit with the Tetra test strips, and we'll see which one is more accurate. Anyway, folks, hope you guys liked it. Let me know if you have questions down below, and hope you guys have a great day. What do you mean test strips aren't accurate? How do you know? I'm gonna have to angry type. Yeah, no, that's, that's dumb. All right, folks, um, I've been hanging a lot. Hang it. Mm. You can probably lower that. A skosh, a tad. Uh. That's better. Uh, that's dumb. Stand by, getting a phone call. Yellow. Hey, Siri. Set a stopwatch for 60 seconds. Hey Siri. Dumber than a stick, this Siri. Hey Siri. Set a stopwatch for 60 seconds. Now it's like 30 seconds.